When you develop an FMEA for a customer, there are always a lot of similarities with existing FMEAs developed for other customers. When you need to make an FMEA for a customer, you could start by copying a standard FMEA template and adjust it for a specific customer. This way you can work quickly and will get many FMEAs in your company. But if you make a process improvement which needs to be introduced in all specific FMEAs, you will have a problem. That's going to be a lot of repetitive work. Datalyzer offers a solution for this problem by introducing an option to adopt an FMEA into another FMEA. You can add an adoption to an FMEA document by selecting the menu option Tools, and then you select Edit Adoptions. In the adoption window that appears, you can add an adoption by selecting any FMEA from the catalog. The same adoption can be added multiple times. For example, a cleaning step could be repeated multiple times in the flow. These FMEAs that we adopt are named differently in different industries. For example, they are called reference FMEAs in aerospace and foundation FMEAs in automotive, but the functionality is exactly the same. In this example, we select the process FMEA for grinding and press OK. The grinding FMEA will be added to the FMEA we are working on. The grinding FMEA is linked to this part-specific FMEA. It is not a copy. The reference FMEA shows failure modes, causes, and control mechanisms. The reference normally does not show effects, severities, occurrences, and detection ratings because they are depending on the specific part where the reference FMEA is adopted. So after the adoption, Datalyzer offers you an option to enter values into any empty cell. The text in cells from the adopted document will be shown in red. If we want to make changes in the grinding FMEA, we will need to open that FMEA if we are authorized to do so. Any changes made in the grinding FMEA will automatically be visible in all FMEAs where the grinding process is adopted as well. We are allowed to edit empty cells or add cells to an adopted FMEA. These cells are shown in black again to indicate you are deviating from the reference. The deviation from the reference can, for example, be required because the product is manufactured on different machines or different plants which don't have the exact same process or the same customer requirements for a specific product. If the process for this specific product is so different that we cannot use the reference FMEA, we can decide to incorporate the reference FMEA into the specific FMEA. In that case, a copy is made from the adopted FMEA. The link with the original document is gone and the adopted cells are shown in black and can be edited again. This incorporation is also used when we issue an FMEA. After issuing, it is not allowed to change any cell content. Therefore, we cannot use an adoption in issued documents because cells of an adopted document can still be changed. To prevent these changes, the adopted document is incorporated at the moment of issuing. The copy made at that moment is frozen and cannot be changed anymore after issuing. Datalyzer supports multiple levels of adoption. You can, for example, make a subassembly FMEA where reference FMEAs are adopted. And in a specific customer FMEA, you can adopt the subassemblies. The FMEA shown will show the two highest levels of adoption. When you are responsible for a reference FMEA and are making changes, it might be important to know which FMEAs will be affected by your changes. If you right-click on a reference document in the catalog, you will see the list of FMEAs which have adopted the selected reference FMEA. In case of changes, we can also automatically send emails related to those changes. The method of FMEA adoptions demonstrated in this video works exactly the same way for control plans and process flows.